everyone and welcome to Pastor Kim's Corner. And yes, it's me, Pastor Kim. And the scripture that I have for you on this morning is the one that has been burning in my heart for the last day or two. I talked about it in my Bible study last night um, when I did a um, collab today on Sister Fifi's Live. It was a group of us. Um, she asked me to read the scripture and this was the scripture that I gave. So this is it for now, y'all. This is this is what God is saying right here and right now. And so it's Romans, the eighth chapter, and it is uh, the 20, let's see. Yes, 28th verse. And it reads, and we know that all things work together for the good of of those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. So I'm going to read the NIV and we know that all in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So if you've been called according to his purpose, no matter what you're going through right now, just know that all things are going to work out for your good, okay? If you know him, if you've been called according to his purpose, if you love him, all things work together for the good, for those who what? Love God and those who are what? Called according to his purpose. So if you love him, like I said, and you called according to his purpose, no matter how it looks, it's going to work out for your good, okay? So trust in the Lord. I just do, I also want to encourage you to reach out to people. Don't sit home alone. Don't sit home in need. Don't let pride get in the way. Call your relatives. Call your friends. Call your church members. Call someone. If you are in need, call someone. If you just need to talk to somebody, call someone. FaceTime them. Video chat. You know, if you got an Android, you video chat. If you have an iPhone, you FaceTime. But make some type of connection, okay? That's, just don't remain isolated. You just, just because you're in isolation, you don't have to remain isolated, okay? So I just want to encourage you in the things of God. Know that he's working it out for your good. Y'all know that I love you with that agape love. You know that I want you to have a blessed day. Most of all, I want you to have a purpose-filled life in Jesus' name. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love to read your, com your comments. They're very encouraging. So leave a comment, hit the notification bell so that you can get your daily word, your morning motivation. I'm posting it between 8 and 9. And y'all forgive me if some days it's not up, but charge it to my head and not to my heart. But I do love you. On Thursday, today is Thursday, I will be live tonight at 9 p.m. I also will be live tonight at 7 p.m. with Sister Fifi. We're going to be talking about the Passover. So y'all be blessed, okay? Have a blessed day.